This is Kali Daily Audio Reflection for Saturday of the second week of Easter. From Encounter God through the breaking of the word with Reverend Father Clement Ikon Agama. Today's reflection is titled, Faith in the Storms of Life. And our text is taken from John Gospel chapter 6 verses 16 to 21. And when evening came, his disciples went down to the sea. And entering into a boat, they started to cross the sea towards Capernaum. It was already dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. Then the sea arose because a great wind was blowing. So when they had roared about twenty-five or thirty furlongs, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and drawing near to the boat, and they were afraid. But he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. Then they immediately received him into the boat, and immediately the boat was at the land to which they were going. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today in the second week of Easter, the Gospel of John brings us a powerful story. The disciples battered by wind and waves encountered Jesus walking on water. This passage offers profound comfort and social implications as we navigate our own turbulent times. Imagine the fear gripping the disciples. Night has fallen. Jesus is absent. And a fierce wind whips up the sea. They were alone, struggling against forces beyond their control. Dear friends, this image resonates with the storms we all face. It may come in the form of illness, loss, social injustice, or simply the overwhelming feeling of being lost at sea. We might cry out, where is Jesus in our struggles? The disciples fell abandoned, yet Jesus was ever present. Though not physically with them in the boat, he was walking towards them on the water, a symbol of his divine power over nature. Dear friends, in the midst of the storm, Jesus speaks. It is I. Don't be afraid. His voice cuts through the chaos, offering reassurance. Even when we cannot see him, Jesus is there. His presence calms the tempest within us, reminding us that we are not alone. The disciples, initially terrified, recognized Jesus' voice and welcomed him into the boat. This art signifies our need to invite Jesus into the storms of our lives. This may be true prayer, faith, and a turning to us God's will. We allow him to guide us through the rough waters. Jesus walking on water is not just a personal story. It is a call to art. If Jesus has dominion over the natural world, he can also calm the social storms that range around us. We are all called to be instruments of his peace. How can we, like Jesus, walk towards those facing their own storms? Can we offer a listening ear, a helping hand, or advocate for justice for the marginalized? Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the story of Jesus walking on water reminds us that even in the darkest wind, with the fiercest winds howling, we have hope. We hold fast to our faith and invite Jesus into the boat. We can navigate in his storm. So let us go forth 
with Christ as our guide to bring light and peace to a world desperately in need. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as we face the storms in our lives, both personal and societal, grant us the strength and courage to persevere. Help us to hear your voice amidst the chaos, reminding us that you are ever present. Guide us to invite you into the boat of our lives, to trust in your power and love. May we be instruments of your peace, offering hope and compassion to those around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Thank you so very much, dear friends, for listening. Please do share this message. And God bless you abundantly.